Welcome to the Concrete Jungle Top 5. In this edition, we will give you our top 5 rounds of action in 2013. All of them kept our palms sweaty on the edge of our seat and for some had us spilling our vodka all over our younger brother's rug. Number 5. Nonito Donaire vs Victor Chinian Round 9. This fight marked the return of Nonito the Filipino Flash Donaire after suffering his second career defeat earlier in the year. The outcome of this fight was predetermined by many boxing critics. Donaire was seen as a prime fighter and Darchinian was seen as the gatekeeper. And Vic, being the veteran that he is, slipped in a punch that broke Nonito Donaire's orbital bone, making this fight a closer contest than it was supposed to be. Donaire thought he finished Vic Darchinian in this round, the ninth, when he dropped him, but the raging bull came out of Vic. He fought back, stunning the Filipino flesh, pushing him back, and forcing Donaire to fight smart and defensively, prompting the referee to stop the fight due to Vic Darchinian not being able to defend himself intelligently. Number 4 Tim Bradley vs. Ruslan Provoknikov, Round 12. The final round of this championship bout saw both men exhausted, bruised, and with cuts on their faces. The round started slow as both men had lost a lot of blood and were saving their energy for one big final hurrah. In the final minute, Ruslan Provoknikov cracked Bradley with a huge left hook, wobbling Tim Bradley, sending him all the way across the ring to the ropes. Bradley stayed up, fought toe to toe with Ruslan, but was eventually folded with 10 seconds left in the fight. Tim survived and said that he suffered a concussion which caused him to slur his words for the next few months to come. Number 3 John Molina Jr. vs Mickey Bay Round 10 Hand-picked opponent John Molina Jr. of Covina, California met Mickey Bay. Bay, who was promoted by Floyd Mayweather Jr. came into the fight 18-0. The fight was what it was supposed to be, an all-time squash match between a highly defensive skilled fighter and a reckless barroom brawler. John Molina Jr. was down on all the cards going into this 10th and final round. This was going to be Molina's third pro loss and a second consecutive loss in a little bit over a month. He was on the verge of retirement until he landed a left in the last minute and a half of the fight then opened up the floodgates of lefts and rights forcing the referee to stop the bout with less than a minute left. At ringside base promoter Floyd Mayweather Jr. stood in disbelief. Number 2 James Kirkland vs Glenn Tapia Round 3 After being out of action for nearly 2 years, James Mandingo Warrior Kirkland stepped back into the ring against the then undefeated Glenn Tapia. Kirkland's chin was put to the test in this round over and over by solid shots from Glenn Tapia, wobbling Kirkland time and time again in the round. Every time it seemed that James was done and ready to fold, he would come back and do the same to the 24 year old Tapia, but Glenn would not back down. No, instead Tapia planted down and decided to exchange with James Kirkland. This round was the final round that Glenn Tapia came close to winning. From here on, it was all James Kirkland. Number 1. Adrian the Problem Broner vs Marcos Maidana Round 2 This round almost resulted in the internet being shut down after Broner was dropped for the first time in his career by Marcos Maidana, sending Broner falling into the bottom ropes spawning the most memes and Vine videos ever following a boxing event. Yes, even more memes than the sleeping Manny Pacquiao. This round also gave us a blueprint of how to successfully break through the Philly shell made popular in recent times by Adrian Broner's big bro Floyd Mayweather Jr. Credit also to referee Lawrence Cole for letting the fighters go and defend themselves. Broner to his credit fought back in the round and avoided a second knockdown. Not by running, but rather trading and forcing the Argentine to reset himself over and over again to look for another meaningful shot. Do you agree with our list? Let us know where your top 5 rounds of 2013 were. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more.